humanoid robots are designed to resemble the human body in shape and they serve various purposes ranging from functional to experimental and aesthetic. Welcome to VAR Interviewsa. Humanoid robots typically have a body structure that mimics that of a human including a torso, a head, two arms and two legs. This design enables them to interact with human tools, navigate human environments and perform tasks that require human-like dexterity and mobility. While most humanoid robots replicate the entire human body, some may replicate only part of the body, such as from the waist up. These robots may be designed for specific tasks or applications that do not require full body mobility, such as telepresence or assistive robotics. Actually, being able to build a humanoid robot and put it into the world of useful work is actually starting to be possible. We can't deny the fact humanoid robots are becoming more and more an engineering problem than it is a research problem. OpenAI is known for its cutting-edge advancements in various areas of artificial intelligence, including natural language processing, computer vision, and reinforcement learning. By integrating these capabilities into figures robots, they can become more intelligent and responsive. They could better understand their surroundings, interpret human language commands, and respond accordingly. Better decision makers, utilizing reinforcement learning, they could learn from their experiences and make better decisions in real-world scenarios. Figure founder and CEO Brett Atcock described that partnership as a huge milestone for robotics. The partnership between Figure and OpenAI represents a significant milestone for robotics as it aims to leverage the capabilities of OpenAI's advanced language models to enhance the semantic understanding and conversational abilities of Figure's robots. By collaborating with OpenAI, the creators of one of the most popular large language models, Figure aims to develop robots capable of working alongside humans, completing tasks and engaging in meaningful conversations. Overall, the partnership between Figure and OpenAI represents an exciting convergence of robotics and artificial intelligence, with the potential to revolutionize the way humans interact with robots and integrate them into various aspects of daily life and work. As the collaboration progresses, we can expect to see advancements in robotic technology that enable more seamless and productive human-robot collaboration. Let's look into today's headlines. Singapore gives its conditional approval to the Air India Vistara merger. In November 2022, it was reported that Vistara and Air India would merge under a deal wherein Singapore Airlines would buy a 25.1% share in Air India. Vistara is a joint venture between Tata Group and Singapore Airlines. The Competition and Consumer Commission of Singapore has given conditional approval for the deal after accepting certain commitments from Air India, Singapore Airlines and Vistara to address possible anti-competition concerns. HP highlights AI-powered work at its Amplify Partner Conference. The HP Amplify Partner Conference is being held in Las Vegas by HP Inc. with the theme Future Ready United VV. The company will present its most recent Amplify Channel program enhancements, present a plethora of new products and solutions, and examine how hybrid systems and generative artificial intelligence are combining to power the future of work and the numerous opportunities to drive long-term sustained partner growth. ChatGPT can now read aloud its replies. With the help of OpenAI, ChatGPT now features a read aloud capability that allows the chatbot to articulate responses in five different voices. It can recognize conversation language automatically and supports 37 languages. It is available on the web, iOS, and Android platforms. Verbal answers are an option that is available to all ChatGPT customers at no additional cost. PM Modi inaugurates the first underwater metro route in India. In Kolkata, West Bengal, PM Narendra Modi inaugurated and laid the groundwork for a number of connectivity projects worth 
a combined 15,400 crores rupees. These straits demonstrates the technological prowess that went into its creation as well as a strategic significance of connecting two of Kolkata's busiest districts. The DOT authorities claim to terminate around 2,500 fraudulent connections every day. Every day, over 2,500 fake connections are being terminated using the Sanchar Sati site run by the Department of Telecommunications. The government's main weapon for shielding mobile phone users from frauds is the portal, which was introduced last year. When Sanchar Sati finds forced connections, it initiates re-verification. When the number doesn't re-verify, it is disconnected. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to VAR India magazine. You can download the VAR India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for more news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.